Question 1. The study of tumors is called apathology. B. Neoplasia. C. Cytology. D. Oncology. The correct answer is D. Oncology. Question 2. Neoplasia involves A. An irreversible change that results in an uncontrolled multiplication of cells. B. An abnormal proliferation of cell in response to tissue damage. C. A controlled proliferation of cells. D. A normal arrangement of proliferating cells. The correct answer is A. An irreversible change that results in an uncontrolled multiplication of cells. Question 3. Viruses that cause neoplastic transformation of cells are called A. Transformation viruses. B. Oncogenic. C. Pathogenic viruses. D. Opportunistic. The correct answer is B. Oncogenic. Question 4. Which one of the following is a characteristic of benign tumors? A. Numerous mitotic figures. B. Rapid growth. C. Slow growth. D. Metastasis. The correct answer is C. Slow growth. Question 5. A small exophytic lesion of the tongue that is the color of normal mucosa and is composed of papillary projections arranged in a cauliflower loci appearances most likely A. A. Papilloma. B. Fibroma. C. Neurofibroma. D. Verrucous carcinoma. The correct answer is A. Papilloma. Question 6. Which of the following is a histologic characteristic of squamous cell carcinoma? A. Invasion of tumor cells into the connective tissue. B. Pleomorphic epithelial cells. C. Keratin pearls. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 7. Which of the following are the most common locations for intraoral squamous cell carcinoma? A. Upper labial mucosa buccal mucosa hard palate. B. Lower labial mucosa maxillary gingiva buccal mucosa. C. Floor of mouth ventrolateral tongue, soft palate. D. Anterior tongue, mandibular gingiva, retromolar area. The correct answer is C. Floor of mouth ventrolateral tongue, soft palate. Question 8. A histologic diagnosis of epithelial dysplasia is of concern because the lesion may A. Cause sever bleeding. B. Be cosmetically objectionable. C. Be premalignant. D. Be hyperkeratosis. The correct answer is C. Be premalignant. Question 9. Severe epithelial dysplasia may also be called A. Epithelial hyperplasia. B. Carcinoma in situ. C. Infiltrating carcinoma. D. Hyperkeratosis. The correct answer is B. Carcinoma in situ. Question 10. The most appropriate treatment for epithelial dysplasia is A. Observation. B. Chemotherapy. C. Radiation therapy. D. Complete removal. The correct answer is D. Complete removal. Question 11. Verrucous carcinoma is differentiated from another squamous cell carcinomas because it A. Does not occur in the oral cavity. B. Most commonly occurs on the lower lip. C. Has a better prognosis. D. Has no keratin. The correct answer is C. Has a better prognosis. Question 12. The most common intraoral location for salivary gland tumors is the A. Lower lip. B. Buccal mucosa. C. Palate. D. Anterior tongue. The correct answer is C. Palate. Question 13. Which of the following is an example of a malignant salivary gland tumor? A. Pleomorphic adenoma. B. Worthen's tumor. C. Monomorphic adenoma. D. Adenoid cystic carcinoma. The correct answer is D. Adenoid cystic carcinoma. Question 14. Which of the following statement about ameloblastomas are true? Ameloblastomas A are benign slow-growing infiltrating tumors. B are composed of odontogenic epithelium. C most commonly occur in the mandibular molar ramus area. D all of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 15. The odontogenic tumor that characteristically presents as a well-circumscribed radiolucency located in the anterior maxilla of an adolescent girl is an A. Ameloblastic fibrotoma. B. Ameloblastoma. C. Odontogenic myxoma. D. Adenomatoid odontogenic tumor. The correct answer is D. Adenomatoid odontogenic tumor. Question 16. The odontogenic tumor that most resembles the mesenchyme of the dental follicle histologically is A. The cementifying fibroma. B. The odontogenic myxoma. C. The complex odontoma. D. The adenomatoid odontogenic tumor. The correct answer is B. The odontogenic myxoma. Question 17. A benign cementoblastoma can be recognized on X-ray film because A. It is well circumscribed radiopaque and attached to the root of the tooth. B. It has a charateristic multiocular radiolucent radiographic appearance. C. 
it radiographically resembles a periapical granuloma. D. It is a rapidly growing lesion. The correct answer is A. It is well circumscribed radiopaque and attached to the root of the tooth. Question 18. Your patient of 48 years old black women present with multiple asymptomatic radiopaque masses on the mandible and maxilla. There is no expansion of bone. The most likely diagnosis is A. Multiple odontomas. B. Cementifying fibromas. C. Periapical cement osseous dysplasia. D. Florid cemento osseous dysplasia. The correct answer is D. Florid cemento osseous dysplasia. Question 19. A compound odontoma differs from a complex odontoma in that a compound odontoma A is composed of tooth-like structures. B has unlimited growth potential. C is primarily composed of dentla pulp tissue. D is usually located in the posoterior mandible. The correct answer is A is composed of tooth-like structures. Question 20. Peripheral odontogenic tumors are located on the A tongue. B lower lip. C buccal mucosa. D gingiva. The correct answer is D. Gingiva. Question 21. A benign tumor of adipose tissue is called a lipoma. B. Schwannoma. C. Hemangioma. D. Lymphangioma. The correct answer is A. Lipoma. Question 22. The most common malignant soft tissue tumor of the head and neck in children is a squamous cell carcinoma. B. Malignant odontogenic tumor. C. Rhabdomyosarcoma. D. Steosarcoma. The correct answer is C. Rhabdomyosarcoma. Question 23. Malignant melanoma of the oral cavity is rare however the most common intraoral location is the A palate and maxillary gingiva. B tongue. C buccal mucosa. D retromolar area. The correct answer is A. Palate and maxillary gingiva. Question 24. Osteomas are a component of A neurofibromatosis. B Gardner syndrome. C osteosarcoma. D ossifying fibroma. The correct answer is B. Gardner syndrome. Question 25. A malignant tumor of bone forming tissue is called A. chondrosarcoma. B. angiosarcoma. C. osteosarcoma. D. hemangiosarcoma. The correct answer is C. Osteosarcoma. Question 26. A disorder characterized by an overproduction of atypical WBC is called A. hemangioma. B. leukemia. C. melanoma. D. leukocytosis. The correct answer is B. Leukemia. Question 27. A malignant tumor of lymphocytes is called a multiple myeloma. B. Melanoma. C. Lymphoma. D. Angiosarcoma. The correct answer is C. Lymphoma. Question 28. The cell involved in multiple myeloma is the A. Lymphocyte. B. Macrophage. C. RBC. D. Plasma cell. The correct answer is D. Plasma cell. Question 29. The most frequent intraoral sit for metastatic tumors is a buccal mucosa. B. Mandible. C. Soft palate. D. Floor of the mouth. The correct answer is B. Mandible. Question 30. Which one of the following benign tumors is associated with von Recklinghausen disease? A. Rhabdomyoma. B. Lipoma. C. Neurofibroma. D. Osteoma. The correct answer is C. Neurofibroma. Question 31. Which one of the following is the most common odontogenic tumor? A. Odontoma. B. Amyloblastoma. C. Benign cementoblastoma. D. Odontogenic myxoma. The correct answer is A. Odontoma. Question 32. Which one of the following is the most common malignant salivary gland tumor in children? A. Adenoid cystic carcinoma. B. Monomorphic adenoma. C. Papillary cyst adenoma lymphomatosum. D. Mucoepidermoid carcinoma. The correct answer is D. Mucoepidermoid carcinoma. Question 33. A benign tumor composed of a proliferation of capillaries is called a A. Schwannoma. B. Hermangioma. C. Lipoma. D. Osteoma. The correct answer is B. Hermangioma. Question 34. A white plaque-like lesion that cannot be rubbed off or diagnosed as a specific disease is called A. Speckled leukoplakia. B. Erthroplakia. C. Leukoplakia. D. Epithelial dysplasia. The correct answer is C. Leukoplakia. Question 35. All of the following are benign lesion composed of mature compact bone except a Na torus. B. Oystoma. C. Exostosis. D. Ossifying fibroma. The correct answer is D. Ossifying fibroma. Question 36. 
which one of the following malignant tumors may present as diffuse gingival enlargement with persistent bleeding? A. Multiple myeloma. B. Metastatic lung carcinoma. C. Lymphoma. D. Leukemia. The correct answer is B. Metastatic lung carcinoma. Question 37. Which one of the following malignant tumors has been reported to ASHO a characteristic sunburst pattern on radiographic examination A. Malignant melanoma. B. Osteosarcoma. C. Squamous cell carcinoma. D. Rhabdomyosarcoma. The correct answer is B. Osteosarcoma. Question 38. Which one of the following malignancies is characterized by monoclonal spike on immunoelectrophoresis A. Multiple myeloma. B. Metastic ling carcinoma. C. Lymphoma. D. Leukemia. The correct answer is A. Multiple myeloma. Question 39. All of the following are malignant tumors that arise from squamous epithelium except A. Basal cell carcinoma. B. Verrucous carcinoma. C. Adenoid cystic carcinoma. D. Squamous cell carcinoma. The correct answer is C. Adenoid cystic carcinoma.